Tonight's exciting episode of Talking Beards is all about what, Aaron? This will be the National Talking Beards. No, this will be the <laughs> National Beard and Mustache Championships review show starring national champion Scott Sakura. Yes, I won. I'm so excited. And we have so many great stories to talk about on this on this exciting uh, episode of Talking Beards, the podcast. We talk all about the championships. We also have a really awesome, super great breaking news. I don't super even want to... Awesome, amazing, great, spectacular breaking news. Yeah. You missed one. I know, but I didn't want to tell everyone right now about it because I want to make sure that they listen to the whole thing so they can hear what's going on. Because if I tell them right now, they're going to be like, oh, I'm not listening to this now. Maybe, maybe we could give them a sneak peek since it's the podcast. Okay, here, look. There it is. There it we'll was. You saw it. We right peaked now. it. We we just told you what the breaking news was. We showed it right here. So stay tuned, sit back, relax, and enjoy this exciting episode of Talking Beards, the, the podcast. podcast. Cast, 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 cast. Hello, my name is Scott Sakura, and I am the Beardcaster. You are listening to Talking Beards. You can find out more information by going to TalkingBeards.com or TheBeardcaster.com. Make sure you go subscribe to the podcast wherever you subscribe to podcasts at. Also, make sure you go to Facebook and find us there and watch us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. EST, which stands for Eat Salty Toads. You also can watch us live at TalkingBeards.com. Don't forget to interact with us live in our chat room each week as we do our show live. We answer questions, we talk to people, and we have a great time. Yeah, we do. So let's dive right into this week's episode and go. It's, it's time. We are now. We are. Where live? No. What? My phone says, live video from Talking Beards. Isn't that great? Nothing is telling me that. On, is on this exciting episode of Talking Beards, we will review the national dot, dot, dot. That's what my phone says. My God. What? There's like so many people here already. Three million. Four million. Wow, this is amazing. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying Eight million. To Holy cow oh my goodness your goodness why did it just get so cold in here what's going on global warming global warming aaron oh that's cool i'm trying to get this shared on my page i'm trying to embed it you want to get in bed with it i know that joke is so old it's just like you <laughs> Guess what? My birthday's this weekend. Happy birthday. It's not yet. I said it's this weekend. Happy birthday this weekend. It's not yet. It's this weekend. Hey. What? Your birthday's this weekend. It is. Don't I, I look can't... so... Look how good I look in that picture. What? 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 It's time. What's What's time? It's time. It's already like 8.30. Oh my gosh. We've been sitting here for like a half an hour. I can't find it. Oh, hey. Why do you oh, have to? Hey. Why do you have what? We did it. You scream. Ugh. Wow. Why? I, I scream. You scream. Why I scream? We I all don't, scream for ice cream. I do not scream for ice cream. In fact. I love cookies and ice cream. Ice cream. I knew it. No. I knew it. Ice cream is absolutely horrible. It is the You're worst wrong. thing ever Invented by Thomas Edison. Uh, it was actually invented by Michael Jordan in Chicago. Oof. We learned yeah, that this weekend. Uh, we learned that. So good. Group picture is so good. I know it is. It is. That really... was us. We did it. Yeah, we did a lot of fun things this weekend, and that is going to be the topic of the show tonight. So we have... That uh... will be the topic of tonight's show. And tonight's show will be episode number 45 of Talking Beards. Holy and this will be... Wait a minute. What? 45? I thought it was 33. 
Nope, 45. You're wrong. So this is episode 45. Four, five of Talking Beards. This will be the National Beard and Mustache Championships review show. Oh, recap. Recap. And I am Aaron D. Johnston. And who are you? I am Scott D. Sakura. Not or Scott T. That would work. actually that's what it should be now. Scott T. Get it? Because it's almost no. like Scott T. Scott T. I don't, I don't understand. Like Scotty go potty. Hey, look at that. Breaking news. National champion. This Scott guy. Scott Sakura. That is who wow. this guy is. So yeah, so I'm Scott Sakura. Uh you can find me on all of the social media that way, or you can go to thebeardcaster.com. You can find me there, talkingbeards.com. Wherever. Wherever. Wherever talking beards are sold. Or <laughs> national champions are. Wherever look, national champions are sold. Look at that. But, you know. Look at that. First place. Wow. If you ain't first, Aaron, what are well, you? Uh, You're better than first because you got second. And second is way better than first place. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Anybody can get first place, but it takes some real talent to get second place. Let me tell you. Does it, though, really take? It does. I mean, I could have got first. I was like, you know what? I don't want it. I don't want it. You know, I'm I, I get first a bunch of times. I was like, you know, let's just I really let's just see what second feels like. I'm really enjoying your attitude. I like this a lot. <laughs> I'm glad because I don't like losing and it sucked. But you know, Patrick Dawson got me again, so we'll we'll just you just got to fight back and get him. Oh, I'll get next him this time. I got him once. I can get him again. So, but you know, if you're gonna lose, at least lose to a, a super nice dude. So. That's all that really yes. matters. Yes, exactly it. So, but yeah, so you can uh, check us all out by going over to uh, talkingbeards.com. You can watch the show live over there, but you will be watching us live on Talking Beards on Facebook. And tonight we are going live on the Beardcaster Facebook page. So, if the everyone's over there, I, look at this. I love this line. This is my favorite line. I bet, bet Scott cried like a bitch. He did. He did. He cried. He he just stopped crying about five minutes ago. Look at this. National champion of Sehahi. That's how you pronounce that. He oh, Sehahi. Sehahi. Well, you you are uh you you are as they say Sehahi. Sehahi. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Teha. Come on, man. Yeah, exactly. It's pretty much the same thing. It is the same thing. So DG's here. She believes in me. She also believes in a thing called love. She does. But you know who else believes? I believe. You know who else believes? You know. You know, but. All right. (laughs) Okay, go ahead. I got Little children believe in Santa Claus, but. But you know who else believes? Cher believes. Cher believes. Cher believes that sharing is caring. Look at that. Look at those two hungry fellas. Oh, look at that. They're they're sharing their food so good. They are sharing and caring. So, so what are we what? supposed to do right at this very moment on the so show? Everybody click anywhere on the screen where it says share. I don't know. Maybe it's behind the screen. I don't know. But anywhere it says share. You click on it, you share it, you share our live stream, you let everybody know how amazing and fantastic and super cool we are and then you share it and then we win and we'll do it the end what that's not we how it happens it. that's what we can say we did it we do we, we do it shared. all the time so what else is going on well usually at this point of the show we decide to tell everyone if you guys go over to the facebook page and you scroll down just a hair. Like you see that banner right there. It says talking beards. And then right underneath it says visit group. It's going to take you over to this page right here. The BS, the button, BS buttons. Beard, beard bulletin, bulletin board. Boards. No. Of butts. I hate, of butts. I do not like you right now. We have to change. Uh, there, you have so many horrible habits on this show right now. Uh, Your face is a bunch of horrible habits. You, you think about that? No. It is yes. not. 
It is. I'm Sehahi, remember. You are. You uh <laughs> you sure are. Sehahi. <laughs> Sehahi. <laughs> <laughs> but we have so many great button ideas that are gonna be coming out of this. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so if you go over to the uh, that, like I said, if you go over to visit group, the, you'll find yourself at the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. You can also get there by just searching right in the search bar right there at the top of the page. Um, you can see where my little thing is going right there. For those of you who are watching, <laughs> <laughs> boy, did I just like set myself up for that one? Yeah, you did. I'm a winner, Aaron. I'm a winner. You are a winner. I'm proud of you. Okay, shut up. So okay. if you go over to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board, this is a page for all of you who take part in our show, who want to share something that's going on in the beard community, or it can even be outside the beard community. But if you have an event going on, if you're doing some sort of good deed out there, if you're uh, promoting something, please go over to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board and you can enter it in there and we will talk about it live on the show every Tuesday. So tonight, since we don't have a guest, we we shall go. Oh, look at this. Where are we going? Look, wait, Beard Facial for the win. Whoa! Look at this, Jessica. Thank you so very much for helping me get this. Yeah. You're, you're like, not. what? To me, Jessica. What I don't know it? what I was going to say. Oh. Thank you for not helping me, Jessica. Something like that. Words. Go Look, ahead. I love this, <laughs> Scott. Your goatee is looking like a broom tonight. I like this. Yeah. Your face looks like a broom, he said. Thank you, like, thank you very much, Justine. So is he saying your your beard's really dirty? I don't know. Maybe it's just like it cleaned, all that, it cleaned up. It cleaned house. Yeah, it did. That's what he's trying to say. But yeah, so let's uh, jump into the Beard Bulletin Board, because since we don't have a guest tonight, we are going to uh, check out some things that are going on. So look at this number one first place uh, guy who won. Mark. Detroit. Detroit, uh, we love you. love you. Look at this. Look at his mouth. His mouth is open. He's like, oh. That's why he won. He's like, look at me. Ah, I'm a winner. Ah. Do you see what I did there? That was like yeah. special effects. I'm like Lucasfilm, like industrial light and magic right there. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I was thinking. I know. And we have so many people that are, uh, they're, they're abandoning their Disney plus tonight to come over and hang out with talking beards because you know, the Mandalorian came out today and everyone's losing their shit over it. And, the DeLorean came out? Yes. Like um, Back to the Future? Yes. The DeLorean has its own show now on Disney+. I Plus. watch that. I know. But anyways, apparently the DeLorean is driven by a mandolin, and that one song by uh, Bruce Hornsby inspired this. Oh, it, that's what Aaron says. The first place ribbon looks like a dustpan. That must be what he means. Yeah. Your face Good looks job, like uh, a dustpan. <laughs> Goatee face, Josh. Look at this. Oh hey. oh, hey. Oh, hey. We did it. We did it. Um, But yeah, so Mark, who placed first in, I'm assuming, full beard styled mustache. One of the lengths. Yes. There was like 14 of them. Yes. But yes, congratulations to him. Uh Oh, now Bradley Felipe Paternic, of course, writes very inappropriate things in here. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Aaron, he makes a post with him, DG, and Taylor Hill, Billy. <laughs> Good old Taylor Hill, Billy. Taylor Hill, Billy. He gets a new nickname like every week. He loves it. But there we are, looking good, second place. Yep, look at these second place finishers. You guys did so good. We did. We you did it. did. And if you click in the comments, Brad's in there too. Uh-oh. Yeah. What did Make he write? Post, post a picture of Brad on there. Click in the comments. Do it. Do it. Hold on. Hurry. You can do it. Oh, look at that. Oh. There he is. Look at him. Bradley. He's number two. Only known as El Taco. Yeah. So Bradley got number two in the Dolly. Dolly. So congratulations to him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. Hold on. Did you delete a post in here? I didn't. It's all on my phone. 
Oh, I don't know. See, because you made me do uh, that, now I'm all locked up, you wiener. What? Yeah, you're you like, broke oh, it. you go scroll. Th- oh, there we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Hey, that's not my fault. Your computer sucks. I know. We're going to get it taken care of here very soon. Don't worry. Oh, look who's here. Crystal Davis is here. Oh, hi, guys. Everybody God. has to take a, take a shot. shot. Let's do a drink. Yep. Look at this really cool, honest Amish koozie that I have right you here. Want me to, you want me to do, uh, you want to close your BS buttons and re reload it, or what do you want to do here? Sorry, yeah. I made you break it. Yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, my God, Aaron. Always making me, making me do things that I don't want to do just because I just want to please you, and well, look what happens. So, also in the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board, while he's getting that back up, Talking Beards, you know, that other page that, that's definitely not Mir Scott that made this post, they made a post. Is it is it going to work? There it is. Okay, never mind. Yeah. That's what I was going to talk about. This one right Who here? Who did it better? These guys did. Yeah. Look at that. Aaron and Scott, or Tony and Taylor. Who did it better it's not a hands down like it, it's hands down we did it better look how surprised Obviously. like i came out of the blue and attacked your face on that you one you did you did and look how how uh i mean tyler is trying to push tony away i know he's pushing and he's just, he's too strong yeah he's just pulling himself right in but he's pushing it's just not working yeah i know alan eckert finally made it home from his shoes were made for walking Oh, Crystal Davis says that uh, her and Natalie did it best. We forgot to add that one to the mix. Well, it only gives me an option to do two. So. I know. <laughs> I can't. I'm going for Tony and Taylor. I want the first vote. You're wrong. So, so uh, oh, look at this. Joey says Tony and Taylor look tender. <laughs> mm, they do look tender. Oh, there we go. Matt Zone says he's trying to push him away to suck on his fingers. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if everybody knows this, but Tony DeRocco likes getting his fingers sucked. Yeah. So if you guys know Tony and you guys are hanging out and just he just grab his hand and just slowly put your his fingers in your mouth. Yeah, he loves that. Chicken like, bread says, ooh. I think she's saying, you. Like, ye wee. Woo. Like that. See, look at even bald face Josh says that our it's picture. Josh. Oh, sorry. Goateed face Josh says our picture shows so much more emotion. Like you can really tell how in love we are. We are in love right there. I mean, absolutely. That was the first time we met. <laughs> yeah, that was that was as soon as we met. You just I know how you love kissing people. Yep. So Aaron D. Johnston posts this. What is this? I don't understand. So there's there's two pictures in here, and I just didn't delete the first post, but this one was sent by Aaron to Tyler, and this was their their uh, side by side picture. So I've always jokingly told Tyler that him and Aaron look a lot alike, and apparently they finally met for the first time this weekend, and yeah, so they're twins. They are long. They are clearly long lost brother and sister. Look at them. I think same, I can same face. I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> same same hair, same glasses. Just, you know, she just doesn't have a beard. Yeah. That's, that's the only difference. Does she do duck lips too, like nonstop? Yeah, she, she's doing more of like a, a Tyler Hill little little smirky thing there. Little smirky thing. Little smirky thing. But yeah. So all right, so the there next the next post on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board is... You can oh, just scroll past it. No, this no. This one seems pretty stupid. No, it's pretty much not. First place is better than second mm-hmm. place. Now, I heard that was wrong. Hey, you got to... There you go. Make that, make that make, go. I make that disappear. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so here's a fun uh, picture of the first place winners of our crew, myself. Andrew and Natalie. And like we told the rest of the people in our crew, if you ain't first, you're last. Cause that's the truth. Yeah. I mean, second place is pretty much the first loser, but you know, at this time it was different. It was way different. 
second place actually was announced at the event that second place was better than first. So I don't know if you heard that announcement. It, maybe it was, you know, when the firefighters got there and you were distracted, but that's that's what was said. So sorry. Nope. There we go. If you ain't first, you're last. Mm, no, that's no. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> All right. Next post on the oh look at someone give me hearts. Oh hearts. look, it was Michelle Emerson. Oh she loves you. She does. Oh look at them. Here it is. This is when they first met. Look at how happy, happy they you know. both were. They are happy. They're freaking excited. This is the first time we've ever seen each other outside the womb. <laughs> what? You see that? That can be Tyler Hill's new rapper name, Little Smirk. I like it, Little Smirk. All right, we already talked about it. You can yeah, I know. Going. We can go along. All right, so I got a message from my really good friend Gordon Glover, who used to be a member of the RVA Beard League, and he is doing an annual event in the Richmond or in Richmond, Virginia, called the Mustache for Kids. Uh, Mustache for Kids is a nonprofit with the goal of raising money for local children's charities while having fun growing mustaches. Gordon and others in Richmond are growing their mustaches during the month of November. And if you want to donate, click this link below. You can get to it by going to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board um, and click on it. And uh, let's help our good buddy Gordon, uh, Mr. Gordon Glover out because that's really good to do that is that danny's brother no it's Corey's sister oh my bad oh aaron d johnson says come to savannah this weekend come to savannah this what's weekend. going on in savannah this weekend this weekend in savannah georgia there'll be the november beard fest 2019 and natalie and i will be two of the judges I uh, I guess I could click on the link and tell you the rest of them, but that, that was just that was just something easy to throw on there. So it's Saturday, um, it says six o'clock at Poor Larry's downtown. Your cat, Savannah. Yeah, Larry has his own bar now, so it'll be at six o'clock at Poor Larry's, and it'll be presented by the Beards of Savannah Society. Tyler Hill will be there. With his little smirk. Yep. Whoop, whoop. El Dorado is in the house, as they <laughs> say. S Steven. Steven. That's right. Steven's here. So, yeah, if you're in the Savannah, Georgia area this weekend, uh, come on over and say hello and go to the beer competition. Thank you. Week three says, now go teed face Josh. He thinks go he's good. He Josh looks good he does he thinks he's gonna attempt to take my title away from me here in the uh near future which he's uh very poorly mistaken he'd be going no, I, mean, I, I think he's pretty much there with your little short goatee see look at we got we already got uh crystal davis is already encouraging him and matt Sone says that he's gonna be a shaped goatee so technically though he does he he could go for the musketeer mm yeah Musketeer, that's a, that'd be a good look for uh, Musketeer face Josh. I'll tell you what, though, one thing that really, really bothers me about this picture, though, I'm gonna, we're going to zoom in here. Let's get, come on. This one hair right here. <laughs> <laughs> How annoying is that one hair? Look at it. He, he already lost. They, they would definitely, that would be the first thing all the judges would see would be that hair. And they're like, yep, well, you lost. Yeah, Go. and they'd be like, oh, well, I'm just going to be in the one-inch category. That's Ooh. not really something you want to brag about, buddy. <laughs> Woohoo. Right, Joey. Rumpele. Rumple Stilt Skin. Yeah. Rumple Stilt Skin. They're going to be in St. Louis this, uh, when is this? I don't know. This Saturday in St. Louis, we're raising funds for prostate cancer screenings at our competition, Beard, Beer, and Bourbon. Oh, that's right. Beard, Beer, and Bourbon Fest at Ballpark Village. That's right. That's my birthday. Was that event Happy that's birthday. coming? Happy Not yet. Oh. How about now? Whoa. Oh, geez. He's getting all mad here. He's like, hey, mother effer. I took I took this this morning before he went into surgery surgery to get his trusticle removed. Oh, That's his well. third nut. 
<laughs> but if you want to hear a story about that, which I'm I'm actually making that up, but there is a episode of the Beardcaster, an older episode with Baldface Josh, where we do talk about uh, overcoming your fears, and it was an episode where uh, we was talking about like getting surgery, and then uh, my the child was getting surgery on his ankles and stuff. So, and we talked about that, and he talked about getting his trusticle removed. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Michelle Emerson. The best part of her whole trip was meeting me and me giving her a hug when she came in. Can you believe that? Wow. How honored am I? You should be super honored. I am. She said you smelled good I in do. a different post. I do smell good. I always you do. I do. You do. I do. Well, it was very nice to finally meet you, Michelle. It was. Oh, look at us. This is us. Oh, look. That, oh, look at that. We look so good right there. You know what? You know who looks the best in this picture, though? Me. No, me. I'm number one. Oh, number two is better. Kellen Rogan Buck, who was one of our past Talking Beards guests, has an awesome book out called My Dad Has a Beard. Um, if you guys have purchased the book, uh, make sure you guys go over to Amazon and leave him a review. That would be super awesome and help him get more uh, exposure and everything. So make sure that... uh. Yeah, she does say that about everyone she meets. So you're not special at all. I'm not. C. Fun says I'm not special. Whatever. Whatever. Pick your friends. Whatever. You can pick your friend's nose. Yeah, but you guys can pick to go over to Kellen's page and uh, leave him a good review, please. So you always feel better after you go number two. <laughs> so go that's way better. <laughs> Someone that's took way an way better than doing number. So pretty one. much, you always feel better after you take an errand. Yeah, pretty much. That's what that's what all the cool kids are saying. Psh, 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 psh. Here, anyway. talk about this one. Oh, Gary Faulkner. Never heard of him. He uh he's pretty much the most famous guest we've ever had because you know, he's in movies and stuff. He is a, a honest to goodness movie star. Movie star. He will be in the Cran, uh starring Gary Faulkner. I don't know. Is that there'll, a there'll probably be more other people in it? But it's an indie film that is going to be filmed in sh- in Chicago, in Cincinnati. Ohio. Yeah, the Cincinnati area of Ohio, and yeah. So they they announced that Gary's going to be part of that movie. So we'll try to bring Gary back on. I know, and have a full fledged interview with him that will not be interrupted by his wife. I know. Thank you. And the just to kind of give a little bit of heads up, I I was reading a synop a, a synopsis of what this uh, show is about, and it's actually about um this berry farm down in Alabama where um they hire these farmers to start overproducing these berries to help people urinate better. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I was really like, really? Yeah, you really were really. Yeah, I was. But he will be playing Marv. Marv, the cranberry the cr- farmer. Yeah, the fa- the cranberry farmer. So look out for the cran and look out for Gary Faulkner. I bet you he's going to wear like overalls and drive a tractor. Probably. Metzone posts some pictures from... Uh, Jeffrey Mustache from Tinley Park this weekend at the National Beard Mustache Championship. Good times. Good times, everyone. Uh Uh-oh. Look who's here. Do you see who's here? Uh, Star Johan. Star Johan. Look at that guy. Star Johan. We met him tonight, or we met him this weekend, but we'll talk about you. Oh, look. Sean Duff's here. Sean Duff got third place. Third place is pretty good, too. But, you know. Apparently, that movie, The Cran, is about him and 49 naked dudes. It is. I wasn't going to say that. I didn't want to embarrass him. But if, you, if you'd like to get an autographed 8 by 10 by Gary Faulkner and 49 naked dudes, just ask him for it, and he will definitely sign it for you. He, he loves, you know, all... You know, if you make your own eight by ten of him and forty nine naked dudes, he'd love to sign that. So just make sure you get those made and find Gary Faulkner and and get it signed. Thank you. Um, 
And a little uh, service announcement in our chat room by Matt Son. Remember to pre-order Jeffrey Mustache's book before tomorrow. Um, remember the goal that if we get to ten thousand dollars for his Kickstarter, they will add an addendum to the back. I, in fact, I spoke to him last night because he is so close. But uh, yeah, just go over to uh, worldsofbeards.com dot com and you can uh, get more information and, and get your uh, book ordered and get the Kickstarter funded. So, but yeah, Jeffrey's pictures, Anthony McCarty. We we did autograph the first 10 this weekend. Yes. I watched everyone do it. The DNA Lounge West Coast Classic Beard and Mustache Championship, the 18th of January, 2020. If you're interested yeah. in that. Yeah, so San Francisco will have their, their first big beard competition. Maybe maybe they had one a long time ago, but this is the first one in a long time. So I know Anthony's super excited about it, and we will definitely have him on shortly you know maybe a week or two before this competition we'll talk to him all about it but this is this is going to be a huge west coast event and everybody should go out there and and help out the the hard seltzer boys oh here's an article uh in the columbia columbia chronicle.com about this weekend's event look at uh steven el dorado get to be the cover model for this one there's good old good, steven good old steven don't so, forget to go out and pick up your 2020 MBMC calendar. The Minnesota Beard and Mustache Coalition have their awesome calendar out with our good friend on the cover there. Look at that cover. That's such a good looking cover. I know. That is so great. Um, Beardweiser. Um, wow. So much going on in here. There's a bunch yeah, of soldiers with beards. We just talking about how there wasn't that much in here and. It just keeps going. I know. <laughs> I know, because now it's already 8.30. So, But yeah, uh, if you want to find out more about this post, go into the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Um, yesterday, the third annual Stars and Stripes Beard Bang, Murray, Utah. I don't even, I don't even know where that's at. Utah? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Never. It's right next to you short. <laughs> oh, oh. It, yeah, that was very good. Thanks. Fear the Beard Four Crooked Rooster Brewery in McLean. Flu. Where's Flu? I don't know. Flu. Down there in, in Florida, probably. That would be my guess. Uh, Saturday, December 14th. If you want more information, go over to the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board. Obviously, they really want us to know about it because they posted it twice. Absolutely. Uh, John and Timothy both posted it. Uh, Randy Forsman wanted to tell us about why we're all having fun in Chicago. We finished part two of his Arizona video, Whisker Bent and Hellbound VI. VI. It's Vi. like I, but different. Part two. So. Oh, breaking news. Gary Faulkner's watching. Uh oh, Gary Faulkner's watching. He heard uh -oh. that we were talking about stuff, <laughs> about the cranberry farming. Yeah, he's gonna be a cranberry farmer. All right, so yeah, I, I think that was I think that's everything that we covered. Yeah, because that's that's exactly it. That was the last thing. So we did it. We did it. We covered the BS buttons, bull, beard bulls, and board of butts on this November twelfth, two thousand nineteen. Scott's having in his honest Amish. Now this is pretty exciting. Oh, um, breaking, breaking break, news! Breaking news! Um. Great Lakes Christmas Ale, one of the best beers ever made. Ever made. Ever. Tastes like Christmas? Yes, it does. It tastes exactly like if you took a bunch of these bulbs right here and you crushed them up and like added like milk to them. It's pretty Just much like it. That. Pretty much. That's amazing. So we do have some breaking news, but I guess we're going to get to that here in a few minutes. Yeah, it's some pretty intense breaking news that we hope that you all will love. And it's all like literally, it's breaking news on us too because, yeah, we just started putting this together. Well, we talked about it. We've been talking about it, but everything kind of came together today. So we're we're still in the process of putting final touches on everything. But the, we'll, I mean, and the Smashing yeah. Pumpkins are finishing up their uh, their song right now in the studio about today being the the greatest day ever. 
So what do you want to talk about uh, nationals a little bit before we do our breaking news? What do I want to talk about? What? Oh, well, look at this guy. I finally have something. That looks really good. Yeah. My face looks really good. You're so dumb. I hate you. (laughs) I was making you small. There we go. I was making me small. (laughs) Did that make you feel better? Yeah, I feel good now. Thanks. All right. Yeah, so this weekend we all went to the National Beard and Mustache Championships in Chicago, Illinois. It's French. Um, And we all went and stayed. We had a really nice Airbnb. It was super awesome. Yeah, it was. We had a a really fun time. It was uh, Aaron and Natalie, Taylor. No, not those people. Those those people, people too. Yes, that was our group right there. There we we are. Andrew, Taylor, Jason, DG, Natalie. Uh, in Cura, in Cura, myself and Aaron. That was us. We stayed in an Airbnb, and it was fantastic. And we really appreciate the people for our very uh, in-depth tour of all the light switches and whatnot. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a good forty-five minute, uh, yeah, tour of the, of the house. So. But uh, yeah, so it was we. Th- that's how our, our weekend started out. Was a really cool uh, house and everything. And then we went out that evening. We had good pizza. What else did we do? Well, I feel I like, man, yeah, it's just such a blur of a weekend, dude. Like this weekend, it felt like I don't know. It just it was so long, but yet so short. If that makes any sense, that's what she so- said. Yeah, pretty much. So, what, Thursday night, we went out to eat, and then we went to, we were going to go to the pre-pre party, but then we ended up just going to the venue and hanging out and doing our own thing, and then... We went to Illuminati's Pizza, which was... Illuminati's. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Illuminati's Pizza, which, that's what Taylor Hill was eating last week on the show. So, we went there, and by far, it is some of the best deep dish pizza I've ever eaten, ever. So, if you are in the Chicago area, find Illuminati's, or... Illuminati's pizza and make sure you wait for a good hour before you, you know, get seated and everything. Yeah. Plan accordingly because it does take a while for the pizza to get ready, but it was definitely worth the wait. So we just kind of hung out and we ate and you know, did we eat and then go to the venue? I don't remember. No, we just, I don't remember. Let's okay. We'll go to Friday. So Friday, uh, we woke up and went to the venue all day and that's the same thing we did on Saturday. So we went and did Natalie did a bunch of prejudging and you and I went live one time and we were like, we're going to go live 1 million times. And yeah. then we didn't. And then we didn't. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the one thing is, is like you, people don't understand, like when we go to these events and, and you know, and a lot of the people that are in the chat room with us tonight are a lot of people that we've either known for a while or we've met through the show and stuff like that. And it's like, and and people always ask me like why I don't do like a lot of beard caster interviews or anything anymore. And basically what it boils down to is like, when you go to these events, you're meeting so many great people and you want to talk to so many people. It's so hard to just like be like, all right, I'm going away for like an hour or two hours or three hours to like hide in a corner and, interview someone or we're just going to go hide away and record some stuff. And it's like, there's just so much going on and there's just so many great people to talk to so many great people to meet. And we want to meet the people that are, you know, who number one, enjoy our show, but we also want to make new friends. We want to talk to new people that we've never talked to before and, you know, introduce them to the whole world of bearding. I mean, that's the whole purpose of the show. So, I mean, we had all intents and purposes of going live a ton of times, but we just felt it was just, it might've been just a little too much. And there was a lot going on and, and it was really loud. So it was going to be kind of hard to go live. And then we would have had to go off by ourselves and it was, it was a good idea, but I I just feel like the, the audio quality probably wouldn't have been that good to try to do a bunch of lives with music and, you know, loudspeakers and all that going on but we we definitely went around and we talked to a bunch of people and took a lot of selfies and uh there was a lot of good photog like professional photographers there including jeffrey mustache who is who is here tonight he just said thank you thank you thank you jeffrey mustache and yeah so he he takes amazing pictures uh greg anderson and he said likewise aaron you also take amazing pictures 
I don't even, I don't even know. There's lots of, lots of good photographers there, but yeah. So yeah, we, we had the idea to go live a bunch, but it just didn't pan out. So Friday night was, was a good time. It was a lot more chill. There was a competition with what, uh, five categories, six categories, whatever it was. So it was just kind of a little fun thing. And that was hosted by our good friend, Paul Hendricks was the MC for that one. He was, he, so, he did so good. He did so good. And then Saturday was was the big day. So I think we were there like 13 or 14 hours on Saturday. Well, we were there for about 10 hours on Friday and then, yeah, 13 hours on Saturday. Yeah, it was like we just lived at the venue and we had no time to go downtown Chicago to the Bean or anything like that. But luckily, Natalie and I got there early enough on Thursday that we at least got to go see the Bean. But the rest of the time, Chicago was just – uh the insanity factory. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was, so, the, that's exactly it. That's what Chicago ended up being for us was the insanity factory and in three fifty brewing. That's, that's where we lived the whole entire weekend. Yeah. We, we went nowhere, but the B and B and there, but it was cool, man. Like, uh, beer team USA and Austin facial hair club and everybody involved putting, putting that event together. They, they did a hell of a job beer, and, beer and I'm USA. looking forward to nationals being a, a yearly event and it's going to go to a lot of cool places and hopefully we get to cover every single one of them. So um, we got our cool little badges that I didn't bring up here, but we, we got our own media badges. We were fake news. And <laughs> Oh, Oh, there I'll we go. Look, Look at this. That. We they have been our, de- our own badges. We are declared as fake news, which couldn't have made us happier. Yeah, even though it's completely <laughs> wrong because we've never made anything up on the show, not one time. Maybe it, it's pronounced Fake News. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's French. Fake so, News. <laughs> so, I mean, we we could we could do an entire episode just talking about Saturday, but I mean that was that was pretty much the overview of you know the weekend, and then we left Sunday. But Scott couldn't eat breakfast with us because. He would have got back 45 minutes later and that would have just ruined his whole night. Two and a half hours later. But I do want to say, though, one thing. Uh, the one highlight of the entire weekend was probably being in a venue with so many people. I mean, we knew so many people, but then yet there were so many people that were from the show that just we had never met before. And it was so great to like meet so many new people that had been following along with the show and everything. And to like actually put faces to like these little things that we see on our screen of like who people are and stuff like that. And uh, just like this guy right here, he says, especially the fire alarm. Now, really star Johan really liked that fire alarm. I remember he pulled it. I think I'm pretty sure he did. But yeah, so I mean, there were so many people there that we met who listened to the show and everything, and you know, it was it was really cool. I mean, that was probably one of my highlights was actually meeting and talking to a lot of people that, uh, you know, check the show out. So the book is really high quality. Jeffrey had uh, a few there at the venue, and we got to look through it, and like I said, we signed a few. So <clears throat> it's really good quality book. Everybody should go buy it. Summer Hibbler still stuck in Chicago. God. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, so with this storm that's come through, uh, you know, there was a uh, yeah, a plane that went off the runway, so it shut down the airport yesterday, and so everyone was kind of stuck in Chicago yesterday, which kind of stuck sucked. But hey, at least we got the good weather during the weekend. You know, it was nice. I mean, it was still cold, but oh, at least it wasn't snowing. Yeah, and then one other. One other last thing that I t- almost totally forgot that I wanted to talk about too, which something cool that happened and someone cool that we met this weekend. Wait, hold on. Let me get this off first. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about this. Yeah, almost. Our new friend, Kelly E. Park. Look Kelly at this. E. Park. Now, she is an author of this book right here, uh, Mustache Dash. And she was there signing copies and selling them. And so we were sitting there talking, or I was sitting there talking to her, and I handed her one of our flyers. And she's like, oh, my God, you guys use the Rolling Stones logo. She's like, I got a shirt made. So it was just a funny story. But she was super nice, super awesome, new to the community. Um, 
and we tried to like introduce her to as many people as we could to like share. I mean, she's got a cool story with her book and everything. Um, she didn't even really, I don't know if she, I think they're on Amazon mustache dash. Yeah. Look for that on Amazon mustache dash by Kelly E park and, uh, order one today, get one for the holidays for your kids and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, that was another super awesome highlight of the weekend. So yeah, she was, she was a lot of fun. I went back and talked to her several times throughout the, throughout the, the two day weekend and super nice lady. So go, go check her out and buy her book. What? What's that? Oh, ooh. I believe there's breaking news. Breaking news. This is going to absolutely break all the news uh, quotas. And it's and not fake news. No, it's not. It's not fake news at all. This is real breaking news. Go ahead, Scott. Decor. All right. We have formulated a plan to be able to actually give you pizza roll tacos. Pizza roll tacos. What? That's right. Pizza roll tacos are going to become a reality on December 13th of 2019. Ugh. All right. I know you guys are all being like, what? This is just can't. That's, it. That's the whole breaking news. Yeah. No. So no one's on even like commenting on this yet. Like everyone should have been like, holy crap, what's going on? Pizza roll tacos. And everybody should have just been like, what? Yeah. I don't but- even see any what's in the chat room. What? what? Jesus. There it is. There we go. Matt's Drew. on. Yep. So, go ahead. Aaron, you tell them what the event is called. On December 13th, uh, we're going to work with Honest Amish a little bit, and we are going to put together the Talking Beards Toys for Tots Toy Drive in Chardon, Ohio. That, Like I said, that is on Friday, December 13th. So we, we're still working out a lot of kinks and we've got ideas and and the ball is really rolling on this event but it's officially going to happen we're going to be together we're going to go live we're going to interview people we're going to have a uh a code for honestamish.com so people during our telethon can you know get some discounted honest amish products if you're there you can get some free honest amish products uh i don't know it's it's going to be a fun-filled night and i've we're going to go live and maybe we can try to figure out some sort of a donate button or something to, you know, add more proceeds to Toys for Tots. But everything we raise on December 13th in Chardon, Ohio, at what is it? The Element? Is yeah, that the element, element 41. Element 41. We will have pizza roll tacos. We'll have a full, uh, it's like a, I don't know, a little menu, like a little bar menu with a bunch of appetizers and stuff in it. There'll be uh, drink specials. And and like I said, everything we raise will directly go to Toys for Tots. So everybody come by, bring a toy, bring money, do whatever you want. And we will donate away. Scott, Look at this. Pizza roll taco. Look, the crowd is going crazy for pizza they roll are. tacos. I mean, that's that's going to be the highlight of the evening. Everyone's going to come by and just eat pizza <coughs> roll tacos. All right. So but. the whole story behind this and and why this is happening and to kind of uh, give a little backstory is about six years ago we uh, um we were doing a club meeting or something and I kind of was talking to the guys in the club and I was like you know it'd be really cool if we could do like an outside of a like a beard competition uh. Like fun news. Hold on. Michelle Emerson has never been there. I don't know where there is. Thank you. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, but uh, I thought it would be cool to like do an event with like a couple other beard clubs that wasn't a beard competition and just kind of get together and just hang out, you know, just actually be able to be social with each other. And so we started this uh, beard bowling thing. So every year uh, we, the Cleveland, the beards of the old Northwest Cleveland, chapter would get together with the steel city beard and mustache club out of uh, Pittsburgh. And then we would also get together with the rust belt whisker society out of Youngstown. And we picked a location that was like right dead nuts in the middle of where we all were. And we all got together and we hung out for a few hours and bowled, drank some beer, ate, I was going to say played pizza, ate pizza, drank beer, bowled. And uh, so, it's, so we thought we would tie it in with the uh, Toys for Tots. And uh, so we ended up like all of us would bring toys in. And then the Marines from the Mahoning Valley uh, Toys for Tots area would come in. 
and collect the toys. We meet with them and talk and everything. So we continue doing this over a couple of years. And this year we're on our fifth one. But uh, over the past couple of years, I've been actually doing a side event. So the night before, I've been doing uh, like toy collections in Chardon where I live. And it's been really successful where I've been able to like almost double, if not quadruple the amount of toys that we actually donate to uh, the Toys for Tots out of Mahoning Valley. And the other thing is, is like, as I was talking to the Marines, you know, they, they were extremely thankful to us for doing this because, you know, the Youngstown area is really deprived and uh, they were having a really difficult time getting their quota of toys to get to all the kids and everything. So that really felt, made me be more compelled to like want to make it bigger and better each year. So this year we reached out to Honest Amish and we explained what we wanted to do and they were 100% on board like that. Yep. And also I've been in, in talks with uh, Element 41 on Chardon Square to actually have the venue to have people come. I met with Paul today. We talked about, you know, drinks and food and all that stuff and, you know, and and logistically trying to figure out, you know, so we're just going to we're going to put a webcam up. We're going to do a live broadcast from up there. People can donate uh, money online. We'll give out the uh, uh, web well, the address so people can uh, go on there, click and donate directly to Toys for Tots. Um, so it'll just be easy, quick and easy. You know, if you can't come, if you can, if you're in the area and you want to come out, come on up. Uh, that evening, but we'll have way more details as this is uh, unfolding and everything. But pretty much today was the big breaking news because everything just all fell into a line today. And we wanted to share it with you tonight on the show. And we are super excited about this and it's going to be so amazing. Yeah, we're, we're uh, really looking forward to it. And this will be our first talking beards event. So I'm, you know, maybe it'll be the first of many, uh, maybe it'll be the last one we ever do. Who yeah. knows? Hopefully it's the first of many, but yeah, so we're going to have pizza roll tacos and that's, that's pretty much the moral of the story. So, yeah. Pizza roll tacos will become a reality. Yeah. So Joey is really freaking out over the uh, pizza roll tacos stuff. So um, if you have been watching Talking Beards for a while, if you have not, then probably 20 episodes ago or something, I randomly made pizza roll tacos for lunch when we were talking about talking beards Tuesday and all that. And Melissa Crafton said pizza roll tacos. What? And it just stuck. So yeah. So it's kind of an inside joke for, uh, talking beards fans. And we're actually going to get element 41 to, uh, make pizza roll tacos. So it'll probably be two or three taco or, you know, pizza rolls on a tortilla shell with some fancy stuff on it because they're fancy. They are. So, they are fancy they people. Are. So, that's pretty much it. It's right. it's going to be a good time. So so now we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this episode by getting into a really quick trivia round here because uh, we got to we got to cut out of here in ten minutes. So we only have seven questions for trivia tonight. Um, Aaron's going to read those, and they are all related to No Shave November or Movember or whatever it's called. But it's all all you read the thing. You can read the thing that the you thing. had. Yeah, you got the thing. You take so care of this. Sarah I'm just Willis, here to answer as usual has graced us with the most amazing uh, trivia. Huh, yeah. So maybe we can do an event in Richmond with Sarah Willis. I think she's trying to have you pick her up. I don't know if you'd want to pick her up with that face, though. I don't know. Sarah Willis, we will be in contact. So November is the month for Movember and No Shave November. Both causes aim to bring awareness to cancer and raise money for research and patient care. But Movember focuses on specifically male cancers. Movember also seeks to bring awareness to mental health issues that affect men. This week's questions are relating to cancer and men's health issues. Only seven questions instead of the 10 this week, particularly particularly because these ones aren't as much fun to write as they usually are. So, with that being said, question number one. In 2018, lung cancer overtook this cancer as the most common cancer found in men. Ding. Sagittarius. Ding. Wrong. 
it's a type of cancer. Oh, oh, I see. I see what you did there. <laughs> I went with the sign of the zodiac. Well, oh, sorry. I got it. I got it. DG. DG got it. Prostate. Prostate cancer. Or is she? Did she write prostate? I mean, she's for the state. Everyone seems to be for the state here. Everyone loves the state. Uh, They're pro state. Woo! Everybody pro state. So Christy Davis wants us to make an Amazon gift list or post an address so they can Amazon Prime gift to us. Okay. Well, we'll we'll make a, an event page, Crystal Davis, and we'll uh we'll put up a link or address if people want to mail gifts and all that good stuff. So we'll. We'll get the ball rolling on it, and we'll make everybody just check back on Talking Beards Facebook page or BS Button or yeah. next week, and we'll have much more info. Yeah, every just, every uh, week there's going to be more information, so just make sure you tune into the show. But yeah, if, if anybody wants to Amazon some toys to Scott's house or however we're going to end up doing this, we'll we'll definitely figure something out. But there'll be more info later. This just all kind of came together a couple hours ago officially, so we will have more info soon. Question two. Question number two. The average age of diagnosis with this type of cancer is 33. Fortunately, only one in 250 men will develop this cancer. Uh, All the audiobooks to Scott's house. No, we can. He's saying that we can come over and record audiobooks. Oh, same thing. Ben reads his create a wish list on Amazon. Just send toys. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we can create a wish list, but John says it. colon. Uh, uh-uh, uh, but I saw the answer. It's not colon. It's testicular. Thank you, Ben, ben Reed. Reed. Oh, tonight's PSA: Kenny Parbell, take your trash out. Ooh, take your trash out, Kenny Parbell. And then there's a two-parter to this one. A good excuse to play with your balls. Get familiar with them so you can notice any changes. Thank you, Sarah Willis. That was a PSA from Sarah Willis. There's also a PSA from Ben Reed. FYI for the guys, be on a pregnancy test. Positive result may mean you have prostate cancer. Do this. Is this true? That is true. What? Take a pregnancy test, guys. Pee, pee on that thing. If it comes out positive, you might test positive for breast cancer. Or testicular cancer. Which one was it? Testicular cancer. Just, well, I keep seeing prostate breasts in the prostate cancer. I had I did not know that. So yeah, guys, go be on a pregnancy test and hopefully it comes up negative. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's too many breasts going on in the uh chat room right now. Ah, I don't know what's going on. Question number three. The cancer with the highest rate of death for both men and women is what? The cancer with the highest rate of death for men and women are what? What type of cancer? Touch your balls, cancer. Yeah, I was just going to read Sarah Willis calling her touch your balls. Good job, John. It is lung cancer. <sighs> <clears throat> we did. We hung out with him a lot this weekend. He is a he's a freaking good time. That guy. He took some good pictures and he broke a chair. Yeah, he did. <laughs> was that when he was getting that picture taken? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it took a few shots and one one of them he uh, he may have accidentally broke a chair. Yeah, broke from the photographer that wouldn't post the pictures of me with the stuff shoved down my pants. I was trying to be totally. Uh, um, what the heck yeah. was I trying to do? Well, never anyways, but then, then we were t- taking pictures of touching Paul's wiener. Yeah, those didn't get posted either. Yeah, keep going. Number four. Question number four. In the United States, it's the eighth leading cause of death for men. The only non-disease cause, aside from unintentional injuries, it doesn't make the top ten leading causes of death in women. In the United States, it's the eighth leading cause of death for men. The only non-disease cause, Ding. aside from unintentional injuries. What is... It, go ahead. You got it. It's right here. Marriage. Jason Schaefer. Oh. Suicide. So I thought it was marriage. But Nope. 
It is not. Jason Schaefer. What's the score, Natalie? Gigi, Ben, John, and Jason all have one. It's a four-way tie for the lead. Question number five. One of the biggest factors in suicide prevention is recognizing signs of this mental disorder. What is the mental disorder? Frying pans. Wrong. That's why Sarah only wrote seven questions because these are super sad. So, but this is why we do Movember, you know, so we, you know, we can get money raised for all these causes. Nope. DG. DG, it's depression. DG. DG takes the lead. Who wrote frying pans? Don't know what you're talking about. Frying pans. Question number six. Six. In the U.S., anyone with suicidal thoughts or is helping someone can call 1 800 273 talk to reach this hotline what is the phone number associated with 1-800-273-TALK john sovaco 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 it is the Suicide Prevention Hotline. <clears throat> Question number seven. Is that two for John? That's two for John and two for DG. So we're tied. This we're is tied. question seven. Last question. Last question. <laughs> Safe Sun practices refraining from using tobacco products and maintaining general health are all means to reduce this. Oh, hey, Omar. What's up, Omar? Omar's part of the three club as well. With Sean Duff. There it is. DG. Cancer. So what you want, DG? A hug. You you went a hug tonight. I saw DG did. No. Nope. DG is first on ours. Okay. Sorry, John. DG's posted first. Yeah, uh, epic to depressing, real quick. Thank you, Sarah Willis. So, um, I don't know. Do we'll I find know? something for her, but thank we'll you. Give, we will give you some Honest Amish products. We have your contact information, and we will be in touch. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in tonight. Do we have anything else to add at the very end here? No, just other than make sure you guys go over to the Talking Beards Facebook page and like it because we will be posting more information. We'll be making an event page up for the uh, Honest Amish Presents Talking Beards Toys for Tots Toy Drive 2019. Uh, and there'll be all the information that you can get there. And uh, once again, I'm national champion. That's pretty awesome. I'm so excited about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it's been a good year. Uh, but yeah, so make sure you go over to Talking Beards on Facebook and uh, like the page, share it with everyone. Try to help us, you know, collect as many toys as we can this year. So um, yeah, we'll definitely get some information out there and we'll we'll find a place for all the toys to go. And let's see, see how much we can raise uh, with the Talking Beards family here. And, and hopefully we can get lots of toys and money for Toys for Tots. Yeah. So. So like you said, be on the lookout for the event page coming soon. So I am Aaron D. Johnston. I appreciate you tuning in tonight. You can find me at Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Mostly you can find me here on Talking Beards every Tuesday, 8 o'clock. And go. I am Scott Sakura. I am the Beardcaster. You can find out more information by going to thebeardcaster.com. You can find me on all social media under Scott Sakura or the Beardcaster. Make sure you go to Talking Beards on Facebook. Like, subscribe, share with everyone. Uh, and that's about it for me. So, but thank you guys so very much. Thank you for all the, the wonderful people that we met this weekend in Chicago. Congratulations to everyone that, that was there. I mean, just being there is a, a treat to, you know, and, and 
kudos to you all for getting up on stage and sharing what you have in the in and being part of this community, which is everything to us. And you know, thank you everyone for helping us do the show. So Oh, Mark Benita's here. Hey, Mark. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in. All That's right. it. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. We hope you really enjoyed this episode. Make sure you go over to thebeardcaster.com to subscribe to the podcast. Also, don't forget to go to talkingbeards.com every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to watch us live. If you want to interact with the show, make sure you go to facebook.com slash talkingbeards. There you can interact live with the show and post anything you want in the BS button beard bulletin board. Make sure you do that so we know what's going on in the community and we can report it to you. Thank you all for checking out the program today. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's super awesome episode. Until then, stay awesome and we'll see you guys later. Ciao.